As colleges grapple with the rising COVID cases across the country, Wesleyan University has a strict number of protocols that they have students follow, which is what they say leads to their success in the low number of COVID cases they have here. A lot of liberal arts colleges are able to do this kind of thing because we're relatively small. Most of our students usually live on campus and that makes it easier to, to control um, uh, behavior and to, and, and to get compliance around mask wearing and social distancing. And we also have communicated all summer with our students and our staff and faculty and with the city of Middletown about our plans. Wesleyan University has a strict mask policy. It must be worn at all times. They hold their in-person classes in tents outside. Students are not allowed to venture more than 25 miles away from campus. If people go home for Thanksgiving, we say stay home. You know, finish your semester remotely because that's just about a week of classes plus finals. And you could do that. We've uh, given them equipment to do that. Students are tested twice a week with a rapid turnaround on those tests. It allows for easier interaction with other students. I'm not worried at all because I know she, like, I just tested negative yesterday. She just tested negative yesterday. So it's like, I'm so much less nervous about getting it here than I was at home. If students do test positive, they're taken to a hotel where they can be isolated, but well taken care of. The system does not ensure people will be healthy 100% of the time. But does give you a good chance to break the chain of transmission. The university is now coming up with plans to move activities indoors as the weather gets colder. Now we are, we have a plan for moving into a big open space, probably in the athletic center, uh, where we can do testing indoors. Students are allowed to socialize, but in smaller groups rather than large parties. In the next coming days, there will be plans made as to whether to cancel next year's spring break to deter travel to party destinations. In Middletown, Taylor DiCello, Fox 61 News.